Uh, hello and welcome. So this is another video for my child safety course and this video is about how can you catch a, a bu child abuser and a bully. Um, now there's different forms of characteristics that you will see. Uh, one is game playing very very common they will try and make out that they are not there so they will hide away um you know in four walls normally once uh they're being um when they're trying to when when police are and those working with the police um, to try and think that if they stay within four walls or pull the blinds down and watch TV with no light on that they won't get caught um, the other thing is making out that, that making out they've been out all day when they've been it's obvious that they've been in like for example if you see a, a half glass of drink if there's a load of dishes all around the, the sink and and by doing like pretend phone calls that they've been out all day and this is why you know with child safety it is very uh, it is one that has to be fully investigated because a person who is accused of it and 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 being accused um, wrongly um, will normally be very very kind of like no I would never do that honestly please you know please um, you know understand that I'm not that sort of person if a person done it you can always tell because they will get angry over it and become very defensive and become and their their nastiness will start to show by twisting everything um being manipulative to other people so trying to turn other people against you shit stirring which is basically that you know which is you know another trait and and what the police do now in terms of abuse is that they will on what a lot of people don't realize and i think google was not being honest about it and they have been in trouble because of it now google is a great platform because it is very more it's a lot more secure now than before because uh i didn't know but if you take a picture on your phone google uh the way it it was cr um, created uh made it easy for predators to know where someone is by if you check if you if they posted like um uh, a picture of being in a museum uh, Google will then had a platform where they had a map a secret map showing where that person was and making it easier for hackers and abusers to you know find their victims because of Google Maps and that's the one thing that Google um, has stopped now uh, because you, because one, the police, the police were using that to find those that were guilty, but the Google wasn't telling people about it, and that is very, very, um, being very deceitful, you know, um, and it kind of counteracts the safety of the internet, because you know people thought they were posting instantly, yet. They were making it easy, easier for 
people to trace where somebody was you know and that's one thing that uh, they got in trouble with now they've made it a lot more stricter so now the police use like a smart chip on people um to watch where they're going rather than using google because the police didn't know that the police when the police were using it they didn't realize that google hadn't told people about it um so that's why they got in trouble because that is kind of like being evasive you know and and made them realize that you know, the wrong type of person was using that as well so uh yeah so and the other common trait is victimization which i've talked about but also um trolling because a lot of uh, people who abuse a bully won't just do it physically when you're um, n when you're there but also tr uh, troll you know and I'm so glad that now they're making that into a law um, with trolling because you know as people who are um, affecting people like me who use the internet to do their work and help people you know and so uh, um, if you want one thing I would say is to start taking pictures now obviously in a child setting you can't because it's illegal to do that um, to take photos um, but if you're in your own if you're in your own environment and it's happening then yes you can so you know, take pictures um keep a journal uh with date and times if you can um also you can uh now if you ring up your telephone network get a bar on your phone to stop everyone contacting you but they can they will try and use that against you to make out that you're in debt when you're not when they just want to get out they're trying to do everything they can to get all your details because that's another thing hacking now that has become the one of the biggest crimes now of the century because of of the internet people have found ways to get into people's personal details and use it to do fraud and um to develop illegal websites and illegal services now i did uh one thing that i well i wanted to find out about it but also to see if it was real and that was binary trading now binary trading is basically your um estimating uh, a company's or a um currency um value and you kind of bid on it to try and and if it's a good kind of like um uh rate then you get paid for that but it is the biggest con going because you don't get that much money out of it and you do need to know what you're doing to do it but i was just uh, one i i mean i shouldn't have done it but i, I just wanted to find out to see if it was real and i lost 500 quid from it and it was like the biggest like backstabbing and i it was and i was so like why did i um fall for that you know but i did and a lot of people did you know but honestly don't do it because you will lose a lot of money and it's companies trying to con people that it's easy and that you get paid millions and that all oh, it'll happen overnight let me tell you no <laughs> don't do it because it is one of the biggest scams um with hacking that's out there so don't do it you know i'm working alongside um uh training standards and um and uh also 
uh, mind at all to do a B Smart campaign online. Um, but I'm going to use this from a child safety as well because uh, hacking is a trait for of buddies. Uh, fraud. Um, identity theft. Um, bribery, you know. Emotional blackmail. Guilt tripping. Um, you know, child shaming, you know. And that is the, uh, some of the most common things and because of the internet they're using it to also abuse and bully and playing games that making out they they've been in making that they've been out all day when it's obvious they've been in all day. You know, they are that is a common uh, game playing and that they like to do. But it doesn't do them any favours because it makes them be more guilty you know and the police i'm working with the police at the minute uh, as well on the be smart campaign as well as uh supporting uh, kids and adults who have experienced child abuse and bullying and it's you know they do it to not to just um for the police but also to try and uh, mess your head up even more um but you, but it hasn't, and it's made me, seeing it's happening to people, make them fight back, and, you know, they will always be found out in the end. So don't uh, feel defeated if they're not arrested straight away. The police now, what they tend to do is, um, follow them wherever they go, and see what else they do because those are the most common things now that abusers and bullies will do to one try and get away with it but two to try and mess your head up and i was reading a story or a camera across a story of someone that uh was being they were trying to intimidate that person by making out that there was a riot going on when it was a riot from the 1980s um, and it wasn't even in where they said it was, London, it was in Manchester. I know that because my uncles were working near the area at the time so they were kind of like in the midst of it, you know, and the RA bombings and stuff like that all happened then near Manchester. You know, it was because of the, uh, the, the um, land miners were uh, strike because they they basically closed them all down you know and which meant that a lot of people it means they've been unemployed and it just um and caused a lot of aggravation but someone was trying to use it to make out that it was happening so like um you know this this decade and no <laughs> because they didn't they forgot that it didn't happen in london it happened up north um and it's that sort of things that like people that people who abuse and bully will go to to try and still bully you um but try and make a point that they can continue to do it without being accused and being um, made guilty and in actual fact it makes that person even more guilty and more um, you know more exposed of being an abuser bully so um, and be smart with what you share online you know um, don't take pictures of your passport because the one thing that Google does and um, which then not people but they you may aware now that sometimes when you take a picture on your your phone uh, uh, they can automatically go up on your Google photos and people can hack into those and find that information so be careful with what you uh, take pictures of I would always say take a picture on your on your camera but to be honest and that's one thing that the binary trading uh, um, company did 
has made me send over some passport. You know, and I've done it. And I remember thinking, why have I just done that? Because, you know, I don't even know these people. And, yeah. I mean, it's one of the biggest con, And it's usually people who have abused and bullied. And that's another way of trying to take something that's not theirs, you know. And, you know, they just want to think that they can get away with it. But actually, no, they're not. And they're just making themselves more guilty and more... Uh, exposed of being what they are you know and it doesn't make them look any tougher it actually makes them look stupid you know and it makes them it exposes them to be what they are cowards and idiots you know that just want to take advantage of people and you know so if you spot those traits you know um, then don't be scared to report it and you know and take pictures because and you know and also the other thing you can do is have a secret camera on you you know um and that's not against the law at all it's um another way that you can record it when they're you know um and be being bullies and or abusing you know because it's not just physical it's a lot of it is verbal and mental you know um and they will n normally like disguise it by making out that it's you that's the 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 you know the problem not them you know and that just makes them more guilty you know so um you know be smart with what you share but also if you are getting trolled by somebody um do a screenshot of the messages and keep a file of you know pictures that you take but obviously make them private pictures as well you can do that on google where you can make a lot of um video and photo uh, images private you know and then you know you uh, put them all together and if you send them to the police they will act upon it you know they will um because they are tracking down it as well because it is another when you're trolling it's still abuse and it's still bullying you know and i uh experienced that when i worked for a manufacturer well, i worked at a call center and was working for a manufacturer was representing a manufacturer and it was happening on the chat service you know uh where people were just using it to be abusive and i think it was funny to make out you know uh, just wasting people's time, you know, and that's the other thing I'll say about companies is be smart when you have a chat service Because you will get idiots on it <laughs> You know um, I just want to use it to be a pain in the ass really, you know So be smart Stay safe and be strong and Yeah, just um, Don't let it get to you just fight back, you know and yeah just let them know without without mentioning names or you know just fight fight your corner and don't don't feel defeated if they're not being nicked straight away because they will because every time they play a game that makes them more guilty so thank you for watching and thank you for taking part in this course um if you've if you've enrolled um and uh, but if you want to watch these videos now, they are free on YouTube, but I will be um, adding them to my child safety and protection online course. And so, yeah, um, see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.